Hello, what's good, people of the internet? My name is Red Two Nine Out, and welcome to another video. Today, you may notice something a little bit different. Currently, yeah. Currently, we are in my kitchen. Now you might be wondering, also, Elliot, why is the audio quality different? Last time you tried recording outside of your bedroom, the audio didn't sound too good. That's because I just got myself, I'm gonna close my door, a brand new camera. Now, before in the past, what I'd record with is the setup I'd have for videos on my computer. I'd just plug the mic into the computer and the camera would record itself and I'd mix the audio later. But now, ooh, look at that. But now we have a DSLR camera. I'm happy, I don't know if I said that correctly, I always confuse them. But we finally have a DSLR camera that I can plug a microphone into. It's amazing. But today, that's not what we're talking about. Today, we are going to be making this. This is a little DIY project that I had some time ago. Basically what it is, is it is, I'm still not used to using this by the way guys, using my camera. It is dragon blood. Not real dragon blood, it's sort of a mixture that I made in here. That I've called dragon blood, as you can see it's got like warning, very toxic written on here sort of stuff. It's got cork in to make it look very old timey wimey. And it's actually in quite a good um, bottle. But for this project, the things you are going to need are one, water, which I cannot show you guys right now because it's in my tap. Two, a glass of Bacardi Bruisers. Make sure that before you start this, the glass is completely empty. There is no excess liquid left in it and you have permission if you are of a young age to actually use glass in a project because whilst it doesn't involve cutting the glass it can break by falling so yeah also drink responsibly people that's all i have to say and finally food coloring yeah hang on food coloring that's our box of cake decoration and miscellaneous so you've got your little chocolate bits that go on cakes and you've got almonds, grand almonds, stuff like that. But today, we are going to be using two basic colours. Pink and blue. These are... What's it say? Dr. Oat... Oatka. Dr. Oatka. Food colouring. Uh, it's dead cheap from your nearest Iceland. I can't focus any more in on this. Hang on. Sorry about this, guys. Look at this. I'm being unprofessional. There we go. Dr. Oatka. This is the pink food colouring. Make sure you don't get the jelly ones. Get the, not the, you know what I mean. The ones that are in like gel format. Get the liquid ones because those will be easier to mix in with the water later. Uh, but you've got your pink and you've got your blue food colouring there. So, one final thing you'll be needing is a cork. This is a cork that I've cut in half from a wine bottle. As you can see, it could be any sort of cork. I'd recommend getting a cork and then, because my glass bottles are thinner neck than a typical wine bottle, I shaved the sides down on the one that's in here, in my other one. Let me just... As you can see there, and it works a bit better, but that's really up to you. It depends on the width of your of your glass. We'll just adjust that back to normal. So now that you have all your materials, the first thing you need to do is take off the the stickers and stuff like that off of your Bacardi Breezer bottle. I will be right back because this is the longest process of the whole thing and I don't want to record the whole thing. So guys, a quick update. I have just finished the lower half of the glass. This is the sort of state you want to get it to where it's just crystal clear. 
I am about to advance on to the last bit, which is the top bit here. And one thing I recommend you guys using is one of these. This is a blade from a Stanley knife that has been removed, or you can get spare ones as well. This one's a bit rusted, but what you do is use the sharp edge and you scrape down like that on the, on the, like this, look. Like that on the, on the paper, and that scrapes off all the paper. Handy trick. I'll be back in a second with the finished result. So as you can see guys, we've cleared out the entire outside of the bottle. It is now lovely and clear at the top, lovely and clear at the bottom, and we can begin with the fun bit. Now what I recommend is you fill it with a bit of water, more or less, to just where the neck of the bottle begins. You can do it a little bit higher, you can do it a little bit lower, it's really up to you, but I would recommend up to the neck of the bottle. Uh, so you grab a bit of blue food colouring, you can start with whichever one you like. I just like to start with blue. So get the darkest one out of the way first. And yeah, just a few, a little bit of a drop. As you can see, that's making it blue, obviously. But it's not gonna make it too blue. Mm -hmm. What you can do, what I did with the other one, is stick your thumb in the neck, shake like that, and it will mix it all together quite easily. So we'll do that a few times with the blue so that we can get a bit of a darker blue. Uh, so I'd say get it to more or less this darkness. You can go darker if you like, but I want it to be a little bit more clearer than my other one. A little clearer than the other one that I made. So now we open up the second bit, which is the pink. Pour the pink in. You see the pink will counteract it and make it purple. Give that a mix. Look at that, you've got yourself some purple purple water there. You can leave it at this consistency, but I'm gonna add another bit of pink. So I want it to be a little bit more red. So that's sort of the color I want it, but I'm gonna, I want it a little bit clearer than it currently is. So, you pour a bit out, you fill a bit of water in, and I've more or less got it to the color I want it, because I want a lighter one to counterbalance the dark one that I have, so we'll just, Compare these, as you can see this one's quite dark and red, where this one's quite light. Now for me this one isn't going to be Dragon's Blood, it's going to be something different. Now here comes a very dangerous part. This bit is um, carving the cork down to the width of the neck of the bottle. So we grab our cork, grab our cork, and you slowly start carving it down. Sorry about that guys, I had to go sneeze a lot. But what you want to do is you want to slowly start carving down that cork until you're left with more or less the width of the neck. This can be very dangerous, so if you're under the age of 18, get a parent's supervision or parent's help, for that matter, to do this part because it can cut your finger. I have cut my finger doing stuff like this and it's not nice it does hurt and uh so i've still i've got probably a little bit more to go but i'm gonna leave it there what you want to do is you want to see if it fits in it doesn't matter if it doesn't fit in completely as you can see with mine it just fits in a little bit but if it fits in it's good you can pull it out easy that's good like with my other one it does take a little bit of force to pull out but that's because the water has been hitting the cork, as you can see here. If I can focus for once, hang on. We can just focus in that. As you can see, it's darker than there is on this bit. This bit's darker than this bit. That is because the cork has been getting wet and has been absorbing the water, which expands the wood in the cork. I think, yeah, cork's a type of wood. Not tripping balls. Um, so yeah, that's stage one of the bottle done. The second part, you will need string, this sort of string. This bit is optional, completely optional. I'm not gonna do it because I don't want to label this second one, not yet, not until I come up with a good idea. But you need string. I recommend, you can use white paper, but I recommend getting this sort of paper that's very, um, it's sort of, brownish it's like a yellowy brown 
that you can purchase in craft stores and it's very nice. I also dipped it in a bit of Coca-Cola and left it overnight so that it got a little bit darker than usual. But you don't have to do this part, this part is completely optional. As you can see there's little white spots through it. A little bit of a bit of a mark there that I actually spilled a bit of the liquid on. You need a black pen and you can, if you're doing dragon's blood, use a lighter to burn, to sear the edges like this. And it gives it a nice little effect. But anyway guys, that was uh, a nice little DIY video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want more videos like this, leave a like in the likes part, like part down below. Uh, descriptions to everything you need and stuff like that will be in the description. Uh, leave a comment down below if there's anything you want me to attempt to make in my marvellous kitchen. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe for more content like this. See you next time. Goodbye.